Jordan Peterson on Club Random. I couldn't believe it. Oh, there Bill was, loved him. That was a cute part. Bill loved him, but there's a cute part. But Jordan Peterson was just doing all of his serious stuff, talking about all of his sexual <laughs> topics, and then at, at the end of every one of his sentences, Bill would just burst out laughing like he was doing a bit. I know, it was weird. And Bill, like, I guess has not seen Jordan Peterson's Twitter or any of his behavior. Like, in Bill Maher's mind, like, Jordan Peterson... Just made some comments about the left at a college, and they all went crazy. He doesn't know, like, anything about what the good doctor has been up to. There's no way. There's no way he would be. And that's what's so weird. It's like, I thought Bill Maher was a crazy liberal with a giant liberal audience with this real-time show. Remember, he was the most anti-Trump guy? He's a whiny little bitch. Remember that? That was, like, his thing. And now he's sitting here with Dr. Jordan Peterson, who's got to be an enemy of the left, right? Surely. But, but Bill acts that like kind he's never of even leftist. He's a cool yeah. Leftist. But you would think Bill's <laughs> fans would be like, "What are you doing? You know, you're sitting here with the Daily Wire, the Daily Stormer." I think all of his fans are like boomers, like him. Yeah, they don't used really to be follow. liberal, but yeah. now they're conservative. Well, or they don't really follow. Like, Bill Maher's not really following what's happening. Like, he's just hearing little tidbits like what Joe Rogan hears. He only hears what is written in a printed newspaper. Yeah, he doesn't really <laughs> know the ins and outs and these little subtle things that are happening. Okay, let's see the opening here. Woo, I love that song. That is a nice-looking suit. Thank you, sir. No, it's not. Wow. So here he is in his crazy pinstripe suit that he's been just getting made fun of left and right for for years. This villain suit, this pinstripe thing, which it's just not in vogue right now. Nobody's wearing pinstripe. And then Bill, the first thing of his own, that's a great suit. By the way, I'm not too fond of Bill's shirt either. His little jewels called it Ed DeBevix. Bill's wearing this 50s diner with this, I hate this shape. The shape's been so bastardized. More like the carpet at Ed DeBevitt. Yeah. You see this shape? What do they call this? This shape is so cringe. And it's ruined 50s for me. Okay, so he loves the suit. That's interesting. That is a nice looking suit. Thank you, sir. Oh, wow. Nice Were you someplace suit. before this? Ooh. Well, I'd like to think so. <laughs> no, I mean like embarrassing. No, this important. is all for you. Really? Sure, Thank you. Sure. I, I I feel even better. Mm -hmm. You know, three piece suits in L.A. You know, they go together like this. <laughs> he doesn't well, get anything. I just got to tell you, you look amazing. Oh, well, thank because you, Because I know you're at death's door. Uh, the, uh, yeah, <laughs> for a long time. That's. I I've said this before. I said it to Matthew Perry because he was at death's door. Who looks he horrible right, right now. The other one, and I said, you know, it's amazing that life, it's so- I mean, really look at this guy. Look at what Peterson's become. Why so tan? <laughs> okay, here he is. They're complimenting each other. Fragile. It's so easy Life is fragile. And it's also kind of hard. This is true. It's also kind of hard to get you. Mm -hmm. And you were close, right? Oh, yeah. So what, why? What was, I forgot what I it was. I don't know, really. Uh -oh. You don't know? Really? Not really. It was a bunch of things, I think, all at the same time. I don't really know. But what was the symptoms? This is fishy here. <laughs> Look uh, at this. So what was it that almost killed you? I heard you almost died. We don't know. What were the symptoms? And listen to this millennial pause. I don't really know. But what was listen. the symptoms? Um, Dr. Peterson! You need a story, even if it's a lie, you need that to roll right off the tongue. You've certainly had some time to think about or this. Or just say none of your business. Or say none of your business, but it. listen to this. Pause. You don't know? Really? Not really. It was a bunch of things, I think, all at the same time. I don't really know. But what was the symptoms? Um, I was in worse pain every moment during the morning and afternoons for two and a half years than I'd ever been for any moment in my whole life. What kind of pain? <laughs> oh, I don't know. How would I describe it? Like all over? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was, also, it was also like cattle prod pain, so I couldn't sit down. Like for, there were months where I was walking nine to 12 miles a day. And what is the provenance what? of this pain? We don't know. Well, some of it had to do with 
some of it had to do with benzodiazepine oh, um, what's that? withdrawal. What's that? Val Valium, essentially. Oh, you Valium were taking variant. Valium? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know anything about this, huh? Bill? Bill's just you might want to know a little thing before you make such a dear friend live on TV. God, and he's just laughing. You're right. He laughs at everything he says as if it's like Peterson's just joking. But he's not. Not very much. And, oh, no? And I, well, I got really sick. I got really sick in 2017. In 2016. Mel. And I, I couldn't sleep at all. People partied on that shit. I know. In this town. Yeah, that well, you know, if you do it if you do it now and then, it's not so bad, but... No. I, I, I always partying, had a low keel, Bill. so like... any What's that? Bill's like, oh, yeah, like I used to party on Queen. Yeah. Party. He's thinking of Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> All right, what's our first time code here for the cuteness? I just thought this was funny. Go to 2758. 2758. Bill's talking about how everyone's addicted to Twitter. <laughs> okay. 2758. Let's hear it. Twitter. Not good. Like, it, it might be, it might be, like, fatally not good because something is driving polarization. What? You know, 80% Americans agree on most political issues with about an 80% overlap, right? But we're getting polarized. It's like, well, what the hell changed? Well, how about the entire mode? How about all of our modes of communication, right? They've yeah. radically changed, and they certainly radically. enable reputation savaging, gossip yes. mongering, cancellation, all of that. Yes. It's way yeah. easier Relation. online. Not just a difference in uh, degree, a difference in kind. Yeah, yeah, different. Uh, abs absolutely. I've had this argument with people on my show say, oh, you know, that's what they said when radio came in and TV. It's like, and computers. No, it's different. It really is different because... Um, there wasn't this addictive quality to it. It's a difference in kind. It's mm -hmm. uh, The cell phone is more like a pacemaker mm -hmm. than a television set. Mm -hmm. I was able to turn off the television set, even though I liked I Dream of Jeannie mm -hmm. and Bonanza and whatever. I could have watched it, but it, I wasn't addicted to it. Oh. And they're addicted to it. Mm -hmm. And there? you're right. It has changed the wiring, as someone said about another thing. We're, we're so you have no idea that Peterson does 96 tweets a second. He's got he's developed a new style of writing. I happen to like this style of writing. I call it one on top of the yada. <laughs> have you seen this? Here I linked it. The okay. world must end now. I mean, that's what he's tweeting every day. Out of the frying pan into the fire. In demented Canada. And these are, I mean, these are every minute of the day. We really have to stop this too much fringe, not enough century. <laughs> these aren't bad, um, but he certainly does these one on top of the others. <laughs> They could be very cruel and, and very often, very threatening, and they're constant. I mean, you could go back. It's going to be hard to get to yesterday <laughs> when scrolling on his Twitter. Let's just say that you'll scroll for a few hours and you'll be like, oh, we're probably nearing the end of when he first started tweet. No, this is nearing the end of today. What do trans influencers think of heffalumps and woozles? I mean, he's obsessed. <laughs> he's tweeting all the time. Even Michaela thinks it's too much. Um, but Bill doesn't seem to know that, so that's very cute. And I like how Peterson knows, and he's not going to say something like, I too have fallen to the addiction. No, he just sits there and agrees, like, yeah, we got a real problem with all these psychos tweeting. 13335. 13335, okay. And this is, I just like this is Jordan describing a romantic evening with his wife. This is interesting. 13335, you know, he's got that wife, ghost. I believe she's a ghost uh, of his former wife. They've got an interesting relationship. Remember when she, when all of them were very sick at the same time, she was diagnosed with cancer that went away. They said she was going to die from it. And overnight, it just disappeared. And she was fine. Um, Michaela, of course, with all her health problems, and then Jordan with his addictions. So both my wife and I were very sick for a couple of years. Right. And she just about died every day for about eight months. Wow. It was really not good. And she handled it with amazing grace, by the way. And at the same time, I was very ill. And we were actually separated, like, for about two years because I was oh. in hospitals here and there. Sure. I thought he was and so oh, separated for two years because you were in hospitals for two years? Okay, you were physically separated. Okay. 
I was there with her for the bulk of her illness, and then when she recovered very suddenly and somewhat miraculously, uh, on our 30th wedding anniversary day, by the way, which she told me she was going to do like three months previously. And I don't know what was, to make like, of that. I have no idea what to make of any of that. Got it. <laughs> um, I got very ill after that, and so we were apart more or less for about two years, and we grew apart quite a lot. We grew apart. And when we got back together, when I moved back into a, the house, um, it wasn't, we didn't really know what to do with each other because it would They need to make, who's that guy who makes those really scary, monstrous cartoon? Yes, I forget his name. They should use this story and show him going back to the little house. And it's this little tiny house in this giant mm -hmm. abyss. And you hear the <laughs> of the wind and he comes in, shuts the door. And she's the little old lady with the ribbon around her neck. Don't untie that. Her head's going to fall off. <laughs> It's like one of these wicked old stories. Listen to what he says. So long, and she had kind of gone her way, and I was still very ill. But we had made a habit of dating um, two or three times a week. Like, we really set aside time to do that. Each other? And yes, yes, each other, yes. <laughs> an, important, an important point, Bill. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, so, and so we had practiced that continually. Wow. Practice and dating. we really set aside time to do that. And so when we got back together and we didn't really know what to do, we thought, well, we, we had this dating routine, like maybe we could start that up again. And I tell you, man, that brought us back together right away. And it was better than it was before. Ooh. And that has um, continued. And when you say dating, yeah. like, describe a date. Like it sounds like, a, like something where it's planned and you know, you're, you're at your best and you're- Yep, all of that. Yeah, all of it. That's all what that. you got to do. Well, okay, I can tell you. Well, so we have this third you floor. You go out to dinner, you- um, we, we generally don't because I can't go out in public that much, you know, because- it's, Look at you. Yeah, well, you know, so- Fucking A, so, cannot go I out- I can't go out in public that much because he's such a hated monster. <laughs> he can't go out to dinner. They got to have fake dates at home. In public, I love it. Well, not be private, right? So okay, you, so well, you, you, I'm sure you know hockey, exactly you what do that's like. That involves hockey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, um, if, if I wear a mask, if I wear a goalie mask, there you go. go Solve two game. problems yeah, at once yeah, yeah, and yeah, COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have this third floor on our house. We we built we built mm. a log cabin essentially on Ooh, the third floor cabin. of our house in Toronto. It's really? this little narrow house. Yes, we had this weird idea that we would build a log cabin on the t roof of our house, huh. which we eventually did. On although the roof. Yes, we, we tore off the roof and we put a third floor on wow. that's Bill's basically high. a log cabin. Yeah, oh, except high. we had an Indian guy, Native American, Native Canadian we actually, come and help us there. design it. And it has great acoustics. It has a great sound system. We go wow. up there and dance and it's beautiful. I have like- dance. dance. Yeah, we go up there and dance. And we have these like, I have laser light show up oh there, which God. is real fun. And Do you know how many laser women light just show? came right now? <laughs> the idea that this Ooh, like- Who would imagine the way Peterson emb uh, embraces her when they dance <laughs> and the things that he says as they're dancing. I, can't you see this is like a movie scene? I see more. Wow. Jordan Peterson up in the attic, laser light show, amazing <laughs> sound system. On a date with the ghost doing a dance. He is like the kind of guy that would have a ghost wife that only exists in an attic. Yeah, that, that has, and that's he, he goes up and suit, yes, I can see this. It's from a film. He goes up corpse bride. And he dances with her. <laughs> it, it, yeah, very the shining type of thing. <laughs> you know. It's wonderful to see you this evening. Very creepy is like that with someone he's been with for 30 years, that is the ultimate pussy boner for women. I mean, uh, seriously, that wetens panties from here to um, Kuala Lumpur, I'm telling well, you. Well, so that's a good move. So, so there's, <laughs> but it's a, true. there's a place in LA right? called uh, Trashy. Dot com, trashy dot com. Trashy lingerie. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, so I about, a, I about, a, I a, 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 a this membership one. card in 1988. This is for okay, the ghost. So you know the place well. So, <laughs> so about 20 years ago, something like that, I bought like 100 pieces of lingerie for Whoa, my wife. Whoa, yeah, 100? Yeah, yeah, a whole bunch, like a boatload, yes. What a baller. Yeah, yeah, it was, and then, and then she wore them. And that took care of the novelty problem, by uh, the way. The novelty, oh, really? It helped a lot, well, yes. Well, I mean, it's the same. And it was a form of play, you know? Oh, of course. A form I mean, of play. Let me tell you, you're low maintenance because, I mean, the idea that just different lingerie. Hell could, yeah. Because it's still the same person in there. I mean, that's my problem. <laughs>
But yeah, that's not like a problem for most people that are married to someone. Still the same. Person. Still the same person, though. How could you even go near her? And he didn't buy a nice. hundred pieces of lingerie. No, but I—that's like smut busters from <laughs> uh, from gemstones. They pull up in the van. They buy out the whole shop. That's crazy, man. A hundred pieces of lingerie and for the wife. And he was saying that so that Bill would be like, yeah, man, I get Hell it. Yeah. Bitch in different lingerie. Nice. You know I that? wonder now if that's true, talking. though. How many pieces did you buy for Michaela? <laughs> was there more to this? No way. You bought a hot... There's one thing that Bill says that you can Coming keep up? Doing. Okay. That, you, know, if, but, you know that people can be very complicated, right? And and they they can show you different sides of themselves. Also, you know? laundry. And if you can play well, <laughs> it can be very complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, fair enough. Fair but, enough. Um, but she played long, you know, and that made now, a big difference. Look, I envy you. That is just a, that is a rare. But you, I'll tell you, you do else. realize how rare you are. I'll tell are you something among else that's men, strange. Though, right. So I've known my wife <clears> since <throat> she was eight. Whoa. So we've known each other for 52 years. Wow. And we were childhood friends. And I really liked her when, when we were kids. Like, I was probably in love with her. Before we were you were even pubic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She lived across the... Before you were even pubic? Yo, I see you, I'm gonna crack your jaw. Wow. I didn't know that that was a term you could use. <laughs> you met your wife before you were pubic? <laughs> Listen to this again. So we've known each other for 52 years. Wow. And we were childhood friends. And I really liked her when, when we were kids. Like, I was probably in love with her. Before we you were kids. even pubic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She lived... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I was pubic. <laughs> what does that mean? Before you grew a dick? All right. Was that um, it for this? Yeah. Okay, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. We're going to cool down. And we'll see you soon here on Red Bar. Goodbye, Bill. They had a blast. They're good friends now. They love each other. Very nice. We'll see you soon.